This is the 2022 Echo E-Force DPS 2100. This is, comes with a trimmer attachment, two and a half amp hour battery, and a battery charger. Let me go over some of the features. First off, it's fairly lightweight, and once you remove the battery, it's really lightweight. The battery, two and a half amp hour, can use a five amp hour battery as well. Comes with a battery indicator, one through four. Mine came in the mail on one bar, and it took about 45 minutes to get the full charge. The power head, very lightweight without the battery. Hard plastic body, stuff we're all familiar with these days. Once you add the battery, that's really where all the weight comes from. The handle, smooth, soft finish on it. That way you're not gripping hard plastic. If you're familiar with Echo products, they've had this style for years. Two position speed switch. The high speed is really your trimming switch and probably running all the attachments. The low speed, around sensitive areas, I imagine. Or if you're not really familiar with running a trimmer, I guess a slow speed would keep you from tearing stuff up too much. Same trigger lock up top, but uses a different style of trigger opposed to that uh, doorbell style of trigger they've had for the last five years on the other trimmers. The trigger pull is fairly lightweight. You're not pulling a cable or anything, so just flipping a switch long enough for two fingers and to be comfortable. Mounting point for the chest strap if you're going to use that. I never do, but this is just a plastic with a metal ring in it. The handle, the front handle, has your standard Echo handle. It's got a little flex in it, and it has that same soft rubber feel. It's the standard on the, really the homeowner grade trimmers. The Pro models have that hoop model. Only thing I really don't like about this is the PAS attachment point now is plastic instead of aluminum like they have on the other PAS models. I'm sure this is more than adequate, but I just like seeing that metal on there. The trimmer attachment comes with a speed feed 400 and a 16 inch cutting diameter. You can probably drill a couple holes and move the knife back if you want a 17 inch cutting diameter. That's all the attachments. Straight in. I love, I love the way PAS works. Just turn a knob, drops right in, tighten it up. Drop the battery in. Ready to be used. The 2100 says it can run 16 of the 17 attachments. I own virtually all the attachments except for the broom and the brush. Let's see how well this model works on those attachments. One thing I didn't mention in my tabletop overview is this PAS unit is about three inches shorter from the coupler to the back of the handle compared to a regular gas power unit such as the PAS 225. It's a really noticeable length when you have the trimmer attached. I can notice right away that this is much shorter and when I compared them side by side, it's a noticeable difference. If you found any benefit to this video, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching and have a great day. What I have here is some ornamental grass. Getting close to springtime, let's cut this down. See how well the trimmer works. This is on the high speed setting. Works pretty good. You kind of still need to wear ear protection, not because of the motor noise, the string trimmer noise is terrible. But overall, that worked extremely well. Still four bars, didn't do much, but it's supposed to last about 28 minutes on this two and a half amp hour battery. This is the edge attachment. I got the golden edge, edger blade in there. It cuts a half inch groove. Let's see how well it does. The 2100 did a great job spinning this golden edge edger blade. Did a great job cutting groove in the ground. Let's see how well the blower works at cleaning this up. Now that I got the blower attached, let's see how well it cleans up this wet dirt from the edger.
as you can see the 221 with the blur attachment did a great job cleaning off this dirt left from the stick edger. Let's go try something else. Now that the battery's charged up, let's see how well the head trimmer works. This is on low speed. Low speed seems to be the best setting for the hedge trimmer. I don't really notice any real difference between high and low. So low speed is the way to go. Typically when you run a hedge trimmer, you're not running full throttle anyway. It's pretty much half throttle. And this is light enough. It feels a little lighter than the gas model. Plus you don't have to wear ear protection. Only thing I did notice, I'm getting a lot more motor vibration from the hedge trimmer than from any other attachment so far. Even the tiller didn't vibrate the power heads like this does. Let's try the pole saw. This is the power pruner attachment. Let's see how well it does on the 2100. That did a really great job, cut through very fast. Let's try a couple other branches. It cuts through very fast, but I did try this elsewhere, and the power head does not like the chainsaw kicking back. It does something to the motor, shuts it off for about 30 seconds, and then it will start back up again. Did it a little bit there just now. Let's make a couple extra cuts. As you can see, it works great with the pole pruner. This small garden bed every year gets tilled with a Manus tiller cultivator. So I'm not like tilling in some hard ground. This is soft, premium garden soil. This is the Ryobi tiller attachment, not the Echo attachment. I modified this to fit the PAS system. What I like about the Ryobi has a much wider cutting surface than the Echo version. The Echo version is great for doing around your plants for seasonal plantings, annual plants, that kind of stuff. I have the PAS unit on the high setting. Let's see how well it tills. Does a real good job of spinning this tiller. You know, the Mando's tiller cultivator only has a 21cc engine, so this should easily spin this tiller, and it does. That's on the high setting. Let's try the low setting. That works great as well. 
it just spins a little faster with the high setting. I've already lost one bar. I'm down to three, just that little amount of use. I have about five minutes of runtime with the tiller and about two minutes of runtime with the string trimmer. Overall, it tills very nicely and is able to dig down fairly well. The 2100 with the bed edger did not like trying to cut in a new edge. So let's try it on a bed that's been edged before and the soil is relatively soft. I'm not trying to create a new edge, just trying to redefine. Let's see how well it works. The battery is still fully charged. Let's see how well it works. Still hates it. Still doesn't work. Does not like the bed edger. I'll try to lay it down lightly, see if that makes any difference. As you can see, the 2100 did not like the bed edger attachment. As soon as the edger hit something hard, it would cut the motor off for about 30 seconds, had to wait for it to come back on. I was able to finish the trench by putting on low speed and slowly easing it into the trench and drawing it back like you normally would. It's just really not up to that challenge. All the attachments work great, except for the bed edger. It's really not designed for the bed edger, obviously. The only time I noticed it actually cutting off before was when I was using the pole pruner and the chain would kick back a little bit. It would cut the motor off for about 30 seconds as well. That must be a built-in safety feature to protect the motor. The 2100 is a true replacement of the Echo PAS 225. Runs all the same attachments, even a couple more. Thanks for watching and have a great day.